If you'd like to see way more specifications about your Tesla like I did, you may want to check out this setup by TestLogic. This is their version 2 that includes many significant dashboard features not currently found on the Tesla. These include blind spot warning signals, a full dashboard that shows a ton of data from the battery status, miles per hour range, and many more. There are five different screens that show very interesting data about your Tesla, from the battery health showing its degradation percentage to even the battery temperature. All of this is used through their TestLogic app that syncs via Bluetooth to the included transmitter that is connected to your car. This app is not only for viewing data, but also to enable various settings to preheating your battery 10 to 20 minutes even before the Tesla does while on the way at the supercharger. This will save you time at the supercharger as the battery be further preconditioned. There is also another feature not found on your Tesla, which is the ability to customize the regen braking. This shortcut allows you to customize your driving conditions. The list of customization just goes on and on. Anyways, what you see that comes in the the box is the transmitter, the phone holder that will be mounted right above the steering wheel, the one simple cord used to plug into your Tesla, the magnetic mounting disc, and finally a pry tool. Now this one specifically is for the Model 3. They do have this for the Model Y, however this cord is installed on the front right side pillar rather than the back where I'm about to install this. The second box is optional as there is a wireless charger for your phone. I would personally just get this as who doesn't like a charged phone while driving. If you do not want this MagSafe wireless charger, the test logic kit does come with a magnetic puck for your phone to attach to. To start off with the install, we first have to remove the lower cover plate. You can use the include pry tool or just use your hands to gently pull this free. This is only held on by some side clips and there are no screws to remove this. Disconnect this OBD connector by pushing the tab to pull it free. Now take your test logic wire and connect the bypass OBD plug and reconnect this plug back into the Tesla. Ensure these connections are firmly secure and will not come free. Then connect the transmitter to the remaining plug and tuck it into the center console area. Run the cord towards the passenger front seat and slide it under the frame of the seat track as you see right here. Raise the seat into its highest position to unplug this 4 pin connector as you see here. Connect it into the test logic plug and then reconnect the bypass plug into the seat. Tuck the remaining cord under the seat or zip tie it down should you have excess cord. We can now install our phone mount running the wireless charger cord through the mount and remove the sticky side, then place it on top of the steering column. Tuck the cord down the side of the steering column and then further along the center console edging strip. We can then plug this into the USB port on the back side of the console. Finally, we want to attach the wireless puck to the back of your phone and then stick it onto the 3M sticky side so the charger will adhere to the phone stand. And that's it for the install. Directly from the TestLogic app, it will automatically connect to the Bluetooth transmitter providing instant and live data from your car. Alright, so when you first get in the car, you can open up the TestLogic app. And this is what the main instrument cluster screen looks like. It pretty much mimics the main Tesla screen at 55%. There's 55%. There's the odometer in the bottom left. You got your time and your speed limits. And it shows you some rated right range. Scroll to the left. It shows you where the power is going to at the moment. Right now it's going to the climate control. Scroll to the left again. It shows you the center of gravity. So when you're driving this will move all over the place, up, down, left, and right. And it shows you the battery temperature internally. Here's some more data about your car. I have a mid-range Model 3, not a standard range plus, which um, they don't make my mid-range anymore. What I think is cool, they have the birthday of your car, your mileage, you can hit the car icon, it shows you the autopilot computer you have, and supercharger access is pay as you go. Tap on the battery. It shows the degradation, which I'm at 14.1% and I have 73,000 miles on it, which they think is overall health is fair. Also interesting, it shows you the imbalance, the amount of cells that are imbalanced right now. Tap in energy, shows you more data about the car. I think the lifetime driving energy consumption is a little bit higher than normal. I don't think that's accurate. Swipe again to the left, it shows you all the Shortcut access, here you can preheat your battery well before the car enables it when you have um, navigation to a supercharger. More options, you, want, you can select all the way down to anti-ticket speed limit, you could adjust the speed limit threshold. And also regen braking, if you want to limit this, 
you don't have to use 100% of the regen. You can you know, choose any specific percentage that you want. Swiping again to left shows you more options. Setting to brightness, <clears throat> navigation, the interface. Reset your transmitter. There's also the ability to limit or turn off the constant blind spot monitoring, which is those orange flags on either side of the phone. And if you're a nerd, you can enable this and it will show more data, which I'm not even sure what this is, so I'm gonna turn it back off. As you can see, there are so many functions that this app can provide and they're still adding more features every day. I still think my favorite are the blind spot warning signals that turn orange when there's someone on either side of your Tesla. Also the ability to see your battery degradation and how many cells are in balance is quite interesting to see. Anyways, if you're interested, I have a 10% off coupon code down in the description and comments below. If you have any further questions about the install or just about the product in general, leave a comment below, I'd be happy to answer you back. Again, my name is Evan and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.